Okay, welcome to OG Chronicles, okay? Welcome to Death Row, nigga. Ching! <laughs> but, back to what I was saying. Y'all, y'all, I, I, I'm all for you being in your feminine energy. I'm all for you being beautiful. That is amazing. But, y'all are not doing this correctly. I could give a fuck how early you wake up, how many times you go to the gym, how many fucking smoothies you drink, how many fucking vision boards you create. I could give a fuck about that. I, I could give two fucks about that. If your main source of income at this very moment was to be demolished, what would you do? How would you create? Or would be the only thing that you do is Pop a little pussy and get a set amount. And why I talk about the, 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 the area, the area, is because I know the area is what y'all have realized can bring y'all some, 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 some shmoney. It brings you some shmoney. But see, what y'all have failed to realize is that, yes, men that have money, they see nothing. They, they, they see past it, okay? Because they've also gained stability. That's something that a man knows to do is provide. So really, you're not having him do anything abnormal, just so you know. A man spending money is not abnormal. That's very normal. If a nigga doesn't spend money, then, I mean, he just doesn't have it. Bitch, let's just be honest. Call a spade a spade, oh, okay? But... What I be trying to get y'all to understand is if you knew the real reason behind a lot of these uh, over givers for your situation, you would not fuck with them. You wouldn't because they're married or they're doing this and all this secret stuff. And but they're fucking with somebody that's either around their children's age or could be the age of their daughter. That doesn't make you just think just a little bit. And the only reason why I ain't judging. Y'all know I ain't here to judge because I've done it. I tried it. Y'all hoes is out here lying. I've tried it. Yes, niggas spend money. That's what they do. They have no problem doing that. But it's something that y'all, there's no way you're being your true authentic self as a sugar baby. Because if your true authentic self is doing that, I promise you, you have no sense of stability. You have no sense of security. The only way you feel stable and secure is as long as that man is providing the money and the funds you need for that life. Yeah, that just fucked a lot of y'all up, huh? <laughs> yeah. Part three coming. I'm, you know what? OG Chronicles is going to keep coming tonight. We talking. What's up? <laughs>